Hey friends all over the world, I'm in my studio, but I wanted to come to you with this very brief yet important message. And I wanna talk about something I've been pondering, which is the secret to transforming the nation. The secret to transforming the nation. You know, so many people right now are concerned. You know, where do we go from here? How, how do we navigate this time of transition? What does the future hold for America? What does the future hold for the church? Um, how do we face the challenges ahead? These are questions that people are asking. You know, a lot of people are um, hurt, disappointed. Some people are excited. Um, but the question is, how do we navigate the days ahead? And I want you to hear me very clearly. Because I want to share with you the secret to transforming the culture of our nation. The secret to transforming our nation and nations, depending on what nation you're in. And how you are going to see sustained revival and awakening over the next several months. So I want you to listen and I want you to share this. You know, the Bible says in Colossians chapter one, verse 27, it talks about the mystery that's been hidden from ages and from generations. And hear this, that mystery or that, that's the Greek word mysterion, something hidden not from you, but for you. That Greek word mysterion is not referring to a political agenda. It's not referring, it's not referring to elected officials. It's not referring to programs. It's not referring to economic stimulus. The mysterion that the Bible is referring to in Colossians 1, 26, is Christ in you. Christ in you, the key, the secret, the secret to the victory, the collective victory and the individual victory of the church and that victory being superimposed upon the nations is Christ in us. We need to understand the revelation of Christ the revelation of who we are. The Bible says that in Matthew 16, when Jesus asked the disciples, who do men say that I am? Who do men say that I am? And they said, some say you're Elijah. Some say you're Isaiah. Some say you're one of the prophets. He says, who do you say that I am? And, the, and, and Peter said, you are the Christ, the anointed one the son of the living God. And Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father, which is in heaven. And then he said, because of that, I'm going to tell you this. He says, you are Peter. So I got to look, yeah, let me go here. Cause it looks weird with my eyes. You are Peter. And upon this rock of revelation, Revelation of who? The Christ. I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I need you to hear me for a few seconds. Hear me for a few seconds because this is going to be the secret. This is the secret to seeing the glory of God cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. That we are going to have to have a proper Christology, a revelation of Christ 
in you, not on the cross, not, not in the sky, in you. Christ in you, because until the world sees Christ in you, until the world sees Christ in you, until people see Christ, we're, we're, we're pointing at everything else but Christ. Until people see Christ, the hope of glory, the indwelling anointed one in his anointing, the yoke destroying, burden removing, supernatural ability of God manifested in and through the person of Christ, dwelling in the believer, where we begin to go to, go to the sick and lay hands on the sick and, ca and, and, and cast out the spirit of infirmity and people come out of beds of affliction, when we, when we cast demons out of people, when we proclaim the gospel with power and demonstration. So I begin to ask myself, I said, okay, listen. I said, all right, what's the missing link? What's the missing link? What's the missing link? The, the truth of the matter is the church has settled for religion and tradition, but we've not embraced the doctrine of Christ. We've settled for religion and tradition, not the kingdom not the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Mark chapter 16, he says, go into the sick and, and, and heal the sick and tell them that the kingdom has come. And the Bible says, and they went about healing the sick, preaching the gospel, demonstrating signs of one, the Lord working with them, confirming his word with signs and wonders. The Lord working with them, partnering with them. God said to me one time, he said, son, I don't want to use you. And I said, what? What do you mean you don't want to use me? He said, I don't want to use you. You use a towel. You use a washcloth. You use a fork. You use a spoon. God said, I want to partner with you. I want partnership. I want to partner with the church to carry out my agenda in the earth. I want to partner with my sons and daughters, not servants, sons. God's healing somebody right now. One of the reasons, and I talk about this in this book, Unlocking the Code of the Supernatural, not trying to sell the book, but just showing you, get it if you can. I talk about it, Unlocking the Code, the, the, the understanding of who lives in us. This has changed my life because I stopped trying to achieve things. I stopped trying to obtain things. And I began to realize that everything I need is within me. I'm not talking about from a new age standpoint. Knock it off. Stop it. I'm talking about Christ in you. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah of Israel. Dwelling in you, the glory of God dwelling in you. And this will be the impetus for the glo global glory that will shake the earth. This will be the impetus for the global glory that will shake the nations of the earth. It starts now. Right this moment. You say, well, what's going to happen in the days ahead? What are we, you know what's going to happen? The power of God is going to happen. The power of God.
And I, I literally declared the glory is about to hit your house, your church, your business, your family, your ministry, because what will separate those who survive from those who thrive, hear me, those who survive from those who thrive, what will separate you is the glory of God. What will separate you is the manifestation of his presence. What will separate you from just trying to make it and actually walking in glorious days ahead is the revelation of Jesus Christ. I challenge you tonight. Something good is about to happen for you. I dare you to share this. I don't know if they're allowing this video to be shared, but the devil is troubled. Listen, people are literally going to be set free while they watch this video. People, share it with your friends, your loved ones, tag them. People are going to be, the glory is going to hit your house as you're watching right now. And, and the glory of God is going to flow through you to affect your family, your community, your street, your nation. <clears throat> That's why the enemy is afraid of the church. He's afraid of the church. I want to read a prayer out of Unlocking the Code of the Supernatural. And I'm, a, I'm just going to close this out with a prayer that I want to read for you. And I challenge you that you have been called to live a supernatural lifestyle. Can I read this prayer? You ready? I want you to read it with me and share. Father, in the name of Jesus, I recognize that I am created in the image of Christ Jesus and that by design, I am called and commissioned to carry your supernatural power. Thank you for including me in the end time move of the spirit to bring the revelation of who you are to others around me. Right now, uh-oh, oh, the devil is of a liar. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> the devil is of a lie. Right now, I receive a supernatural download of new creation power, which will enable me to think like you, speak like you, and operate like you. I will no longer settle for church as usual, but I will absorb the reality of your kingdom into every area of my life. Thank you for releasing your supernatural power through me. Did you hear what I said? In Jesus' name. You are not going to survive 2021. You're going to thrive in 2021. You are not just going to make it by. The glory of God is going to manifest in and through you. Christ in you, Colossians 1.27, the hope of glory. Christ in you. I dare you to tag somebody. I dare you to share this video. And I dare you to comment below. God bless you. I love you. Remember, Jesus is Lord.